125 ml butter 30 grams instant yeast 1 teaspoon sugar 1 tablespoon salt 1 teaspoon eggs 3 wheat flour 250 grams pour milk into a saucepan add butter switch on stove make it warm butter got melted remove from fire to this milk butter mix add 1 tablespoon of sugar One teaspoon of instant yeast. Now give a good stir. Keep aside for five minutes. Break two eggs. Whisk well. Add 1 teaspoon of salt to 250 grams of wheat flour. Mix well. Transfer milk butter mix and eggs to a bowl. Combine well. Swift wheat flour little by little to this wet mix through a sieve combine gently make a dough knead well knead for a couple of minutes till it becomes non-sticky to our hands a soft dough is ready cover this with a container or you may cover the dough with a clean moist cloth let the dough rest for an hour for fermentation. After an hour, dough has doubled in size. Take a bowl similar to this. Take baking paper or normal white paper. Cut it into a sheet. Mark the brim of the bow. We need aluminum foil. It should be long enough to cover the outer surface of the bowl. Make sure the foil fits to the brim tightly. Next step is to grease the foil. You may use either butter or any refined oil for greasing. Grease up to the brim of the bowl.
does countertop with wheat flour. Now divide the proof dough into four equal parts. Take one portion. Roll this portion into a sheet. Dust the rolling pin. Roll it. Let us cover the outer surface of the bowl with this sheet. Fix it gently. Trim edges. This is the base of our bread basket. Take another portion of the dough. Divide it. Take a small portion. Roll it in between your hands to make a cylindrical shape. Now start rolling it on the countertop to make thin strings of dough. Make several strings. Keep aside. Take another small portion and roll it into a sheet. Cut this into ribbon like strips. Take one strip, place it over the bow. Here I have used five ribbon like strips. Gently press at the center. This is to fix the strips together. Now start weaving the strings through the strips. Gently take the strips and weave the strings.
you may attach another string to the end of the attached string and you may continue weaving. Weave the strings through the strips till the brim of the bow. Now break one egg, whisk well, apply egg wash all over the basket using a brush. Preheat oven at 200 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. I am using OTG for baking. Keep the basket for baking at 180 degrees for 25 minutes. After 15 minutes, please check the baking process. Take three long strings of dough and braid it. Attach the edges to the countertop. Braid it till the end of the strings. Take the baking paper in which we had made the impression of the steel vessel or steel bowl. Trace the baking paper to aluminum foil to make impressions on the foil. You may see a circular impression on the aluminum foil now. Arrange the braided dough in a circular shape. Attach the ends. With the balance dough, I made three more figures. Give egg wash. Our bread basket is ready. Remove from oven. Now we may keep the next batch for baking. Bake it for 15 minutes at 180 degrees. Allow the bread basket for cooling for 30 minutes. Now we have to remove the steel bar from the bread basket. Handle with care. Slightly detach. Gently remove the bowl from the basket. Our bread basket is ready. Place the crown over it. Ready for serving.